Hi, this is the Newsreel. Tom DeLay is innocent. He got the last laugh in his fight with Travis County prosecutors. In 2002, DeLay used a PAC called Texans for a Republican Majority to collect contributions. That PAC made a $190,000 contribution to the Republican National Committee. That committee contributed to seven people who were running for the Texas House. And prosecutors in Travis County argued for 10 years now that corporate contributions made to the Texas PAC were illegally funneled to candidates in those races. The big story was that the Republicans elected their first majority since Reconstruction, elected a Republican speaker, and then put in place redistricting maps that were used to hold the Texas House and the Texas Senate for the last 10 years. The little story here was that DeLay was convicted of money laundering and conspiracy. The court in Austin, the third court of appeals, overturned that saying that there was no proof from the state that the corporate money that was used was criminal proceeds. So he's off the hook. Governor Rick Perry asked the Texas Department of Insurance to regulate the navigators trained to help Texans purchase insurance through Obamacare. He says that will help make sure that they do things right. The feds say it's a roadblock that could foul up the start of the program this year and we'll see that fight continue through the end of the year. Tom Pockin appeared this week at Trib Live arguing why he and not Attorney General Greg Abbott ought to be the Republican nominee for governor next year. He hasn't had a race. He hasn't been vetted. I mean, look, he was appointed to the district bench in Harris County. I don't think he'd even voted before he was appointed a Republican district judge. Then he's moved up the ladder to the Supreme Court and then moved up the ladder when John Cornyn was moved up from Attorney General to uh, the Senate. He's never had a race. And the winner of that fight might face a Democrat. Suspenseful, isn't it? Wendy Davis says she will make her announcement of her plans on October 3rd. And that's the newsreel.